what I'm going to do here is um, set up a very simple site. I'll, uh, I'll start by using the line tool and so it's a, a good opportunity to introduce you to how tools work. Um, all tools are very similar to each other in some respects. That is to um, set up a tool or set up the characteristics or the parameters of a tool. You always double click the tool and it opens up a dialog box where um, generally things are in similar places. There's these little uh, black arrows that you can click and it, um, and it opens up the dialog box with more detail. You'll notice that all the tools are the same. Double click the wall tool and it looks a little bit more complicated but we will go through the wall tool and some of the other tools with more detail. But um, they have a collapse the dialog box and you can use these arrows. Um, generally they're broken up in similar sorts of ways. So if I was to double click the slab tool again you can see that uh, um, and I, I will go through these in more detail later on. But as far as the line tool is concerned um, we can choose say for example a solid line. We can choose a pen weight and there's a number of different pens we can use. You notice that uh, here, pen 1 is 0.1 of a millimetre thick, pen 2 is 0.2, pen 3, 0.3, and so on. Yep, all the way up. Um, and you can also use uh, choose layers. And if you aren't familiar with the concept of layers, Layers are um, a little bit, I guess, like drawing on more than one sheet of paper on a drawing board at a time. Uh, except here we've got all, uh, these are the standard sets of layers, a lot there. A little bit overwhelming, but uh, we can choose any of those layers to put them in. Um, I'm going to um, choose to put this in the lines layer. Um, and say OK. Now I'm going to draw a simple site, um, say 20 by 30 metres. So uh, in the info box I can choose to draw single lines at a time. OK. I can choose uh, this one, a polyline. Every time I double uh, click I can change direction. Uh, this one here draws rectangles, squares in one hit. Now I'm going to use a keyboard command, Control Z will undo each one of those. So I'll hold the Control key down, hit Z, and it undoes. So I'm going to use this rectangular tool to set up the basic shape of my site. So I click somewhere down here in the corner, and you'll notice this little uh, pet palette that's following my cursor around. Um, I can use that to input the size of my site. So I hit the Tab key once. It highlights. I can, uh, you can see the direction that I'm going in horizontally. I'm going to type in uh, 20 meters because we're uh, 20 meters, but 20,000 because we're working in millimeters. Then hit tab again, and then type in 30,000, and then hit enter. And I have created a rectangle that's going to represent my size. Okay. Uh, the next step would be to use the mesh tool. Now the mesh tool is used for creating, well, amongst other things, um, sites. And um, this is going to be the basic tool I'm going to use for creating a site. So the site's going to be grass on the surface, earth down the sides, and the bottom or the core of the site is going to be made of earth. Um, there's basically three different types of sites I can make. This one here is a solid site. Um, it can have um, the topography of the site can change, but basically uh, I'm going to make it one meter thick, um, generally right through, and then I can increase it if I wanted to. It's going to go into this layer, and that's just the default settings. I'll say OK, and I'll basically trace the site. Uh, you notice up here in the info box, I can choose different ways of drawing a site. This rectangular method 
allows me to draw a site from this corner through to that corner there. Okay. Now remember I showed you earlier how to generate the 3D window. If I hit F5 on the keyboard, uh, there's my site. Okay. And hit O on the keyboard allows me to notice the cursor changes shape. I click it down on the mouse and drag my mouse around the screen. Uh, think of it like where the cursor is as a pencil being jabbed into the middle of the screen and then that becomes like a lever that I can rotate the site around in front of me. Okay, And that uh, gives you a way of moving around in the 3D window. F2 takes you back to the um, to the floor plan. Uh, the next thing I want to do is just show you the uh, how to do setbacks. So I'm going to take the line tool again and I'm going to use one of these palettes down the bottom that I brought in. Uh, this one here is called the um, um, there's a tool that allows me to offset some lines. So this one, the way it works, I'm going to pick a single line at a time and I draw the line where I want to offset from, so from this corner to this corner. And when I finish, it's waiting for me to offset. So I just hit the tab key and let's say uh, I offset by uh, 900 millimeters down the sides and I can do it again over here. Offset, that, click, and I'm ready to, oh, I didn't do that, I'm going to click uh, the offset button, uh, one corner, the other corner, and then it's waiting for me to offset, so I hit tab, 900, enter, and then let's say we've got uh, a 6 meter setback and say a 7 meter setback, so I can click the offset button, uh, draw one line from there to there, and then tab, so uh, 6 meters, 6,000, and then you always have to remember to click the offset when you want to offset, and that can be the front boundary, offset at tab, 7,000, okay, and that, that allows me uh, to understand the space that my building can sit in on the site. Now in 3D, I only see the objects that I've drawn in 3D, so we don't see the lines. But in uh, 2D, we also get those offsets. And if you do want to turn these into dotted lines, you can select them. Um, notice I'm in the arrow tool. I can select objects while I'm in the arrow tool. If you want to select more than one object at once, it defaults to deselecting the first. But if you want to select more than one object at once, hold the shift key down and you can go through and click more than one object and I can either change it to a dotted line here uh, say like that or if uh, I'll undo control Z on the keyboard or you can also uh, double click the uh, line tool and you can choose it from here okay um, either way we can turn those into dotted lines have a go at that yourself.